Tutamom at tutamomconnect.com and I just wanted to share with you my review, my personal review of Life of Fred Elementary series by Dr. Stanley Schmidt. Now I have been using the Life of Fred series for about four to five years now and I use it with my son Israel who is now, um, well I used it with my son Israel who is now ninth grade this year. So I thought it would be a neat thing to just give a review about it because it's such a popular math curriculum. Now one thing that I like about it that it is a, um, a classical book. And when I mean classical, it's in novel form. So what Dr. Stanley Schmidt did is that he actually have taken math and put it into a storybook form, um, engaging the readers from, say, kindergarten on up through college level, even adult level. And it is about a, a five-year-old little guy. His name is Fred. And he is a math professor. And throughout each series, which there it is A through J, throughout each book, you follow his life where he encounters math on a daily basis. And also he helps to explain um, certain math concepts. But what this does for the student is keep them engaged, which is very, very important. So it keeps them engaged, and then they become attached to, to Fred. And as they are going on this journey with Fred, the student wants to help him even more. And Fred is such a delightful character that you can't do anything but laugh and try to help him even more. So, uh, for instance, this is Life of Fred Apples, um, which is the first book. So each book in the series is alphabetical order. So you have apples, butterflies, cats, dogs, edgewood, farming, goldfish, honey, ice cream, and jelly bean. And so the very first book seems very simple, but you're going to learn more um, in this book than you would in any other math curriculum. And what I like about it too is that it's not just about the math. There are other things that you can pull out of here, out of the Life of Fred books, um, that you can make it a complete curriculum. Uh, but I would do that in another um, review session. So, in Life of Fred Apples, you have, in each book, you have 19 chapters, all covering different um, aspects of math. And what I like about what Dr. Danny Stanley Schmidt did is that he isn't starting so much with what you would think um, we would start with as far as where a child should be in math. He starts with something basic. So like in this first chapter, it is five plus two equals seven. And all throughout this book, it's gonna be five plus two equals seven. And what kinds of things give you seven? But don't let that deter you. If you have a very high, um, highly advanced student, they may get a little bit bored with it. But if you can get them engaged in the reading only, the math part will come. And as each book progresses, progresses they learn even more. So, um, in chapter one, it's early in the morning, five o'clock, Fred's dog, Kingy. Uh, five plus two equals seven. Four plus three equals seven. Six plus one equals seven. What can you do to give seven? So, even though my son, when he started this, these books, he was about, I'm going to say he was about 10 years old. Um, the regular traditional math was not working for him. I have three other children who did sats and math just fine, and I love sats and math. But it was not working for my youngest one, and I had to find something that was outside of the box. Fred gives you outside of the box. I believe the only downfall to Fred is that the parents believe that it's not enough math. So what do we constitute um, as enough math? Um, we're used to the drill and the kill of mathematics. And I believe that's when children start to become afraid of math because they have to get every single thing right. And it doesn't so much teach them about 
actually thinking about math. It just only gets them to memorize facts, but not understand why we need to memorize those facts. So, um, the elementary series, of course, you can go to lifeoffred.com and, and order these. Um, they're very, very reasonable. It is $19 a book. Um, I think that is excellent. One thing I did do, I didn't purchase the whole curriculum all at once because I wanted to make sure it was a good fit. Um, and once I figure out, yes, this is a good fit, I just start ordering them as I needed them, which made the price a little bit easier to afford. Now, Fred is um, non-consumable, heart, heart back. The resale value of it is going to be um, almost 100%. And you get to pass these down on to the other children that you may have and even their children. So Life of Fred is thumbs up for me. Um, I hope I gave you enough information. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thank you. A teacher pulled me aside and asked me why I didn't continue what I was doing with my children when they was doing so well. That was one of those defining moments of, oh, there's more. And when I decided um, to do this, I had gone to my sister-in-law, who was already home educating her children at the time, um, and probed her for more, quite, you know, answers. Um, I wanted to know more. I needed to know more. And if this was not a decision that I could make on my own. I had to make this decision with my husband. And it was only if we both agreed that we could do this. So after a lot of prayer, 